hello friends still now in the <coughs> building communication and ventilation chapter we have covered the doors types of doors and uh, then we have started window and uh, first six types of windows we have already discussed in the last lecture so the next type of uh, window is uh, clear story windows okay the clear story windows are provided when the height of the room is much more than adjacent room or veranda okay in that case the clear story windows must be provided it is provided between the gap of low height room and the top of room with greater height okay here the section of that particular wall is shown here okay here uh, starting from the bottom this is the slab then sill level then window shutter window frame window panel is in between the sill and lintel level okay lintel or chajja is the uh, top part of the uh, window and the sill level is the bottom level of window okay and here is uh, the next slab okay and you can clearly see the uh, <coughs> particularly exact picture of this uh, type of window in this uh, picture okay so this is a clear story window then the next type of window is gable windows gable windows are provided in the gable portion of pitch roof of the building okay these are provided at the gable portion okay like this gable vents or in the second picture we can clearly see that these are the gable windows okay they are required in the staircases or in the halls with gable walls okay it allows natural light into the room they allows natural light as we can clearly see here uh, if the sun rays or sun rays direction is from this side uh, then we will get the natural light or sunlight into the house directly it appears like a normal window set on to the house side okay this is looking like normal window and uh, it is called as gable window then the next type and last type of the window is dormer windows a dormer is a roof structure it is a, a roof structure often containing a window that projects vertically beyond the plane of pitch roof or sloping surface dormers are commonly used to increase the usable space in a loft and to create window opening in a roof plane it adds the appearance of the building okay this also adds the appearance these are the dormer windows okay so these are the nine types of windows basically uh, provided for the different types of buildings according to the nature and the purpose of that building the choice of building is uh, <coughs> there and we can provide the windows according to that type of building and purpose of the building so lastly size sizes of uh, windows recommended by bis that is bureau of indian standards 
uh, like we seen in the for the doors again the sizes of windows also recommended by BIS and here only the notations and sizes are different uh, designation 6 suppose we see the first one 6 uh, WS12 it means size of opening in mm is 600 horizontal and uh, into 1200 uh, mm vertical likewise okay size of window frame and size of window shutter may be uh, different okay the first one is size of opening and other two size of uh, window frame and size of window shutter then here again w means window here notations and its uh, descriptions is given at the bottom of this uh, table uh, w means window s for single shutter t for double shutter and that means uh, suppose we take first case from the table 6 ws 12 means equal to 6 module 6 module means 6 into 100 there are 6 module and 6 into 100 that is 600 mm that is width 600 mm and height equal to 12 module that is 12 into 100 1200 mm is the height okay uh, so according to the uh, meanings of other uh, designations we can um, clearly mention there okay you have to remember these standard sizes okay so this is all about the windows and types of windows and finally size of windows recommended by bs then the next point that is concept map of uh, uh, features and fastenings for the doors and windows first of all here doors and windows they need to uh, fasten or fix features okay and for that the types of features and fastenings are four types basically hinges we use hinges then bolts handles locks okay these four types of hinges bolts handles locks are uh, used as uh, features and fastenings for the doors as well as windows okay this is concept map of these features and fastenings let's see uh, the basic purpose of features features and fastenings are provided for uh, doors and windows to provide operating facilities security for rooms and ease of opening and closing okay we all know about uh, these things basically the purpose of providing these features to the doors and windows are to give the <coughs> smooth facilities for its opening and closing okay for door as well as for the window it provides the smooth operating facilities and uh, it also provides security for the rooms okay that is the main purpose of providing these features and types of features and fastenings uh, in case of doors as well as uh, windows are uh, these four types hinges bolts handles and locks okay hinges bolts handles and locks basically these are the four types of features and fastenings used for the uh, fixing of doors and windows okay then various types of hinges where to use them okay types of hinges then butt hinge barrel hinge piano hinge butterfly hinge flush hinge 
pivot hinge barrel hinge spring hinge okay and uh, the basically the shape and size of these uh, types of hinges uh, almost according to their names mentioned here okay so back flap hinge first one here uh, the first one is butt hinge this is the most common type of hinge used for doors and windows it has uh, two flanges made of cast iron or steel one flange is screwed to the door or window and other one screwed to the frame door shutter rotate at 180 degree okay that means we can clearly uh, identify here by <coughs> providing butt hinge we can uh, rotate the shutter of that door in 180 degree only okay and this is the very common in use butt hinge okay the second one is back flap hinge back flap hinge this these are similar to butt hinge and used for thin doors thin doors means doors having less thickness back flap hinges have wide flanges than butt hinges that is the basic difference uh, they are fixed to the back side of the door door and frame okay and that's why they are named as back flap hinge they are fixed to the back side of the door and frame that's why okay the next type third that is counter flap hinge remember we are seeing again the types of hinges okay first butt hinge then flag back flap hinge third counter flap hinge this is uh, formed in three parts and has two count two centers hence the two leaves can be folded back to back as you can see clearly in this picture this hinge has uh, two centers and this can be folded back to back designed to lie flat when in use the counter flap hinge allows a gap in a bar or counter top to be hinged upwards okay this is about the counter flap hinge then fourth one is par parliamentary hinge when the opening is very small or narrow when it is better to provide parliamentary hinge to provide more space of opening as well as to avoid obstruction while moving furniture the shutter will be open completely by rotating in 180 degree without obstruction okay then spring hinge spring hinges are used for swinging doors the door is closed automatically due to spring action in this case and uh, the spring hinges are available as single acting or double acting hinges okay so these are the types of hinges then next again a uh, sixth type of uh, hinge is rising butt hinge it is similar to normal butt joint but it has helical nickel joint in between flanges and helps the door to rise vertically upwards when it open this is useful for the rooms having carpets the rise may about 10 mm okay these types of rising uh, butt hinges then the garnet hinge this type of hinge also known as a t shutter you can see here t shutter has a long arm which is screwed to the door frame it has a two different shaped hinges one is of long arm shape which is fixed to the door and another is of plate shape which is fixed to the frame this type of hinge is used for batten or latched doors okay then strap hinge it is also used for batten and latched doors and windows it has a two arm shaped flanges like this pin hinge this type of hinge consists two flanges which are joined by pin if the pin is removed then it can separate the flanges okay like you can see in the second picture this is generally used for heavy doors pin hinges two flanges are separated separately fixed by door and frame then the next nirmadi hinge the last one 
this is also used for heavy doors but it consists only one flange which is fixed to the door pin is fixed to the frame to which flange is attached whenever is needed you can see in the third picture okay uh, so these are the types of hinges okay we will see the next part in the upcoming video so thank you